Hello and welcome to Christian's Crypto Corner. Today I'm going to be going over how to send an NFT from your MetaMask wallet to your Ledger Nano wallet. Um, this video assumes you have already set up your MetaMask uh, wallet and uh, have downloaded Ledger Live, um, which is necessary. So the first thing you're going to need to do is unlock your MetaMask wallet with your password, which is different from your uh, secret recovery phrase or better known as seed phrase seed phrase so after you've unlocked your metamask wallet with your wallet password um, you're gonna want to go to settings um, underneath your profile you click settings and then go to advanced uh, you need to have um, ledger live access turned on the ledger live bridge um, which enables uh, metamask to bridge with ledger in order to add your wallet later on so make sure this is on right here so after you turn that on um, go, go over to your ledger live app and unlock that so after you've unlocked that you just want to grab your um, ethereum address uh, for later just so we can confirm that it's the correct one when we upload it or uh, rather add it to our MetaMask uh, wallet. So you click receive um, and then you click continue. You just gotta unlock your Ledger Nano if you haven't already with your PIN code that you, used, uh, that you set up um, when you were uh, setting up the wallet. All right, so now that I've entered my PIN code, um, it's gonna prompt me to open the Ethereum app. So you click the top two buttons on uh, the device to open the Ethereum app. All right, so now it shows our Ethereum address for um, our Ethereum wallet. So we just click copy, uh, so we can save that for later. And uh, if you have like a text uh, file, like notes, or you can use uh, on Windows, um, like text edit or something like that, um, just like a text browser uh, or app where you can just paste something temporarily so we can verify that it's the correct one later. So then you can just um, verify the address on your Ledger Nano and then just click approve. Um, and then it'll just say address shared securely. And then if you want to re-verify, you can do that. So after you have your address uh, pasted in uh, like a text file, um, you're going to want to make sure you have uh, your Ledger Nano S um, set to contract data allowed. Um, so the way you do this is since you already have the Ethereum app open, um, you're going to want to uh, just go to settings and then press on the top two buttons uh, of your Ledger Nano at the same time in order to open the settings. And then the first screen should say um, contract data uh, not allowed. That's usually the default. Um, that's what it was for me. Um, and then when you the way you switch it is you press the uh, top two buttons at, again at the same time. Um, and then it's going to change it to contract data allowed. Um, so usually, um, you know, in order for uh, NFTs to be uh, easily transferred and like there's just less bugs so that's um, a good troubleshooting uh, tip just to set the contract data to allowed um, and then you can just um, swipe through the screens and then um, exit the settings so that's that um, and then we can go back to Chrome um, and then now we're just going to want to connect our uh, Ledger Nano S wallet uh, into MetaMask. So you click on the profile circle and then you're going to want to click connect hardware wallet right here. So it'll pop open a new tab and then you're going to want to click Ledger because we're adding a Ledger and of course have the Ledger Live app downloaded already and make sure your Ledger wallet is already plugged in and unlocked which we've already done. So click continue and then it's asking us to open Ledger Live um, 
in other words, open the bridge. So you click Open Ledger Live, and it's going to ask us to expose our um, our Ledger Nano S through WebSocket so that we can bridge our account, our Ethereum account, to third-party apps such as MetaMask. So click Open. All right, so now the Ethereum bridge is opened, and we can access our Ethereum account on third-party apps like MetaMask. So if you click Disconnect, the bridge is going to close, and you're not going to be able to connect your hardware wallet to um, to MetaMask, or to add it rather, to add it to MetaMask. You're going to want to go back to Chrome, and then this will pop up uh, where you select an account that you want to add to your MetaMask wallet. So, um, if you already know the beginning and ends of your account, um, you can just click the check mark box and then click unlock. Um, but we want to make sure that it's the correct one, especially if um, you know you don't have any Ether. Uh, or Ethereum in your Ledger Nano, which most people don't, because <clears throat> they'll start off with like a hard wallet, a hot wallet, and um, then uh, transfer the stuff to a cold wallet. So it's important to make sure that you select the right one. So um, mine would be the first one because I already have some Ethereum in, in it, and it already um, matches up with my uh, address that I pasted before in the Notes app. So I'm just going to double check. And if you want to make sure that every letter is correct, instead of just the beginning and end, um, which can be deceiving sometimes because you never know if there's another address with the same um, start and end and then the middle numbers and letters are different. So you click that little box with the arrow and then they'll say uh, view on Etherscan. And right here is the wallet address. You can click copy, address the clipboard, and then paste it underneath the address you pulled from the uh, Ledger Live app, and this one would be the, this one right here is the Ledger Live um, copied address, and from here would be the one that they're asking if you want to add that uh, to your MetaMask wallet. So as you can see, um, they're the same address, um, and you just got to make sure that um, they line up uh, letter by letter, because if you add the wrong a wallet and then you go and send something to it like an NFT um, and it's not the correct one even one letter off you cannot get it back um, so it's the correct one so you click the check mark and then you click unlock and this means that um, you know the ledger um, ethereum wallet has been added um, or connected rather to the metamask uh, chrome extension so now um, we're going to head over to OpenSea, OpenSea.io, um, and make sure we're connected to OpenSea with our new Ledger wallet. So we're going to click Connect, and now we're connected. Um, and anytime you switch between accounts, uh, between wallets on um, OpenSea, you always want to make sure you refresh because a lot of times it's not going to refresh for you. Um, and then, you know, if you want to see the NFTs in a wallet, um, they might pop. They might not pop up because it's in the wrong. Uh, it's connected to the wrong wallet. Uh, OpenSea is connected to the wrong wallet. So we're gonna want to go. You're gonna want to head over to the wallet that has the NFT currently. Um, so you know whatever account you had previously, maybe the account you started with on OpenSea. Um, um, excuse me. The account you started with uh, on MetaMask. That wallet would uh, probably have the NFT. Or if you have that NFT in a you know another on a new wallet um, you created on MetaMask. Then just head over to that one. Um, make sure you refresh the page so that it correctly updates it. And then head over to My Profile, or just click the um, the circle uh, profile uh, avatar, um, and it'll take you there. So here we can see we have the NFT that I want to transfer to my meta to my uh, ledger, and then you click on it. Um, it sh it should say open owned by you right so it's owned by this wallet that you're currently connected with um, and then to transfer it you're gonna click the transfer little gift box icon right in the top right um, and then it'll just open up this page where you have to paste your uh, wallet address or ENS name so example 0x and then whatever the random uh, numbers and letters are uh, another option is if you have an Ethereum name service name, um, which is what ENS stands for, Ethereum name service. It's kind of like domain name service. Uh, 
for do for web domains, but this Ethereum name service is uh, for the blockchain for Ethereum. So uh, if you have like um, like Christian .eth or um, OpenC .eth or uh, Collectible .eth, um, you could just type that in, um, and then just it'll send it to that. So what an ENS does, which could be another video. Um, on how to use those where you just literally type in you know destination.eth instead of the whole wallet address and then that limits the um, you know percent chance that you know you can make an error reading or copying the wrong address um, that's like one letter off because if your like string address like the long address is one letter off um, you know and it's and it's not yours then it's gonna be like lost forever so uh, you know that's what ENS does it um, basically takes away a lot of the risk um, when copying and pasting these long addresses and just shortens it down to like a word or two um, you know that you uh, pay for every certain amount of years so after you've uh, pasted your wallet address here um, you can double check that it's the correct one um, by switching over to your ledger nano um, account and then just seeing the beginning and end um, so, you know, after you've checked that it's the correct one, make sure you switch back to the current account um, that has the NFT in it that you want to transfer because if you leave it as the as another account and then you go to transfer, it's just, um, it's going to glitch and then not work because it doesn't know uh, that you switched the account and then it's going to try and send the NFT from an account that doesn't even have it. So, you click transfer afterwards. And it'll give you an op un a suggested gas fee. Right now, it's thirty around thirty-seven dollars, um, which is a lot. Gas is right now, um, you know, very high because there's a lot of network traffic. So um, a way you can check on the gas prices is with Etherscan.io forward slash gas tracker, um, and it'll tell you like the average gas price. Um, for like around an, like an ERC twenty transfer, like they're just sending. ETH or sending Bitcoin or another cryptocurrency that's going to be cheaper usually than sending an NFT because you know NFTs are more complex than um, ERC20 tokens uh, which are you know cryptocurrencies so you know if you don't want to send it you can definitely wait as this updates because sometimes the price the gas prices can either shoot up or drop down uh, pretty pretty uh, drastically sometimes so um, you can wait a little bit here um, and then confirm and then that'll um, you know start the process of uh, putting the transaction in the transaction pool um, but if you don't want to send it now you can just definitely wait for later um, I'm gonna wait for later um, to send it um, usually good times are like um, nighttime so like if you're in uh, Pacific time that would be like um, you know 10 11 p.m. Um, East Coast would be like, you know, midnight, like 1 a.m., like around that time, usually the network kind of slows down. Um, but, you know, it's just like I check throughout the day sometimes to whenever you get a chance to see what the gas prices are and then just uh, go to transfer and then just make sure you paste the right address, um, check the gas fee, and then click confirm. Um, just a side note, if you would like really want to get a little more technical, um, you know, you're not going to see, you're going to see it's coming it's leaving your current wallet that holds the NFT, but you know when you pasted the uh, the wallet address down here before, it was de it was different, and it's going to be different than this than this address right here. Um, this address right here is the contract address um, for the project. Um, so it's not you're not sending your NFT directly to um, you know your Ledger Nano. Um, it's going to have to be uh, basically sent to the contract. Um, which then uh, initiates the transfer to the correct wallet that you put in uh, down here. So if you want to make sure that it's sending it to the correct uh, contract address, you just click copy and you can just paste it right here, search by address, paste it, enter. Um, and you'll see here whatever project it is, the token tracker, uh, the Mellow Ball collectibles, and you know it's gonna that's the contract address right here. Um, so it's not going, just to repeat, it's, your NFT is not being directly sent um, to your Ledger Nano S like cryptocurrency does. So when you send Ethereum 
from one 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 wallet um, to another, it goes directly to there. There's no contract um, for it to pass through. But with NFTs, um, they have to pass through the contract um, that they in in order to transfer ownership from one wallet um, to another, they have to pass through the contract of the project. So that's what this number is. Don't freak out if it's different. Um, you can always double check by copying and pasting it into etherscan.io um, and the search by address, and then it'll tell you it's a contract and you know what token project it is. Um, and then all the transactions, you know, that's not really relevant right now. Um, but you know, if you see this and it's not the same, um, that's how you you know confirm it. So as you can see, the gas went up like double the price. Um, so that's how you know. Um, quickly gas can change you know from like 35 or something like that and up to 63 now so I'm definitely not gonna you know send it right now because it's not uh, an emergency but obviously of course if it's an emergency you need to get you know your NFT out of your uh, MetaMask for whatever reason or you just um, you know uh, not are not gonna have time like for a while and you need to do it now then you know click confirm and then it'll uh, uh, say like pending um, and then you may, you might be able to speed it up um, you know under your transaction side of the MetaMask wallet um, but if you click reject it's gonna say you decline the action in your wallet and then it'll have the address name that you're trying to send it to um, and this just confirms that you know this is what the declined action was was the transfer because uh, for me, the gas was just too high right now, so I'll send it over later, and then I'll show you guys um, how to confirm that it's actually in your wallet, um, so that you know it's it's uh, it's still in your possession, just in your Ledger Nano. As you can see, um, when I go to transfer it, um, the gas fee is like even higher than before. So I'm you know definitely not going to do it. I'm going to wait. Um, so as I click reject, uh, you see how gas you know shot up. Um, but I wanted to show you how it would look like afterwards, after the success of the uh, block confirmation. So it would show the success right here, um, but before it would say pending, and then it would keep uh, loading here. So it would say from your wallet address right here, um, then interacting with the contract, like I was saying before. Um, and the action here, you would see that it's going from your old address um, you know, to your new address. Um, with whatever token I, token ID or NFT has, um, it'll say the you know the transaction fee, the gas price, um, and then just a couple other things. So, you know, um, the summary would be here: the tokens transferred from whatever address that was uh, that you had the NFT in, and then to um, the new address uh, to your ledger, um, and that's pretty much it. So, if you guys found value in this video, please comment down below, um, and I'll see you guys in the next one.